back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now going to be going through this mechanics paper from the February March 2020 session. This is um, a paper from the Cambridge 9709 syllabus. This is paper four for paper four two mechanics. And when I go through these papers, what I'm going to do firstly is I'm going to save each question on a separate video. Um, then I will be able to put that video in two different playlists. One playlist will be for this paper. Another place will be for the topic which that question belongs to. And so that when I'm indexing my, my videos, it's easy for you to uh, navigate and find questions related to each other in terms of topic, as well as questions from particular papers. Um, secondly, I'm not going to be a talking mark scheme. Now, you know, I make this channel for my own reasons and I use these videos in order to teach my students. Um, it's like one of the teaching tools that I have to help me to explain things to the students. Sometimes maybe, you know, I want to explain things in a bit more detail. We didn't get time in class or whatever. And, um, you know, so I use this as a way of teaching. So I'm not doing this just to make a video to get views and whatever. I'm doing this as a teaching tool. So sometimes I go into some detail when I'm explaining a question. Sometimes I've got in my mind a question that a student asked or some mis misconception that students, some students might have had. So that might be in my, in my head at the time. I'm trying to address and you know, clarify that particular point. So sometimes I go into more detail, into some background, uh, and I might explain things in a bit more detail than some of you who are just looking for a, a, the mark scheme might be looking for. So, you know, just bear that in mind. I'm not here just to, you know, go through the, the mark scheme of the paper and read it out. I'm here to explain some of the concepts behind the topics. And so that's why the questions sometimes take long, a long time because it's like I'm trying to teach the topic in many cases uh, while going over the question. So the, please do bear that in mind when you are watching the videos. And, um, you know, anyway, so we're going to start this, this paper. Now, the first thing that we need to notice, um, if we look at the paper, these, this, this particular paper is one hour, 15 minutes, as opposed to the paper one, which is the pure maths for AS, which is one hour and 50 minutes. Okay, so it's, um, you know, less time, less questions, and less marks as well. This has got 50 marks, and the paper one has got 75 marks. So the total is 125. So it says here, you get a formula sheet, which has quite, quite, um, doesn't really have that much for mechanics. It has just the equations of motion, basically, for mechanics. Um, now, um, this stuff is pretty simple, okay? So what you have to please make sure is that it says here, you must show all necessary work and clearly no marks will be given for unsupported answers from a calculator. So if that means when you want to solve a quadratic equation, for example, you have to show how you solved it. You have to show that you factorized, if possible, or you completed the square, or you uh, use the quadratic formula. You must do that. Um, also, you must uh, remember to give non-exact numerical answers correct to three significant figures. If angles are in degrees, you give them to one decimal place, unless the question tells you something else. You know, something that might say to the nearest unit or the nearest meter or whatever. If the question tells you that something else, of course, you follow the question. So that's something important. And also the value of G in the Cambridge M1 exams should be given or should be used as 10 meters Per second squared in Ed Excel, for example, it's 9.8. So that's important for you to realize. And yeah, so now we're going to get started. Now, question number one. It's about um, power and energy, I guess, the first part of it. So it's a lorry of mass 16,000 kilograms is traveling along a straight horizontal road. The engine of the lorry is working at a constant power. The work done by the driving force in 10 seconds is 750,000 joules. Find the power of the lorry's engine. So power, we know two formulae for power. Let me just get the pen sorted out here. Now, one of the formulae that we know for power is force times the driving force times the velocity. 
Another formula we know for power is the work done divided by the time. Okay, and it's this formula that we have to focus on for this question because we know the work done and we know the time for which um, that work was acting. So that's going to be our power. So the power is going to be the work done, which is 750,000 divided by the time, which is 10. That's going to give you 75,000. And that's going to be in watts. The unit of power is watts. So you can say 75,000 watts. It doesn't tell us how to express it. But you could also write it as 75 kilowatts if you want. Same thing. Because one kilowatt is 1,000 watts. So there's the answer to part A. Pretty simple. Then for part B, it says there is a constant resistance force acting on the lorry of magnitude 2,400 newtons. Find the acceleration of the lorry at an instant when the speed is 25 meters per second. So we know the mass of the lorry. We know the driving force. Uh, oh, sorry, we know the, the, the work done by the driving force. Okay, but what we've got to do is we've got to work out the acceleration of the lorry. So we've got to work out for the acceleration, we need to know uh, the resultant force. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine this is the lorry. You have the forces acting in this direction, which is the driving force. I'm going to call that D. We don't know what that is. We also have the force acting in this direction, which is going to be the resistive force, which is um, what we know, which is basically 2,400 newtons. So I'll just write 2,400. 2,400 newtons. And it's accelerating in this direction, in the direction of the driving force. And what we've got to do is uh, we've got to work out that acceleration. Now, what we know from the previous part of the question is that the power is 75,000 watts. So the power is 75,000 watts. Okay, so that's in the unit that we're going to use for calculations. So 75,000 watts is the power. Okay, um, how is the power related to the driving force? Well, we know that the power is either the power is equal to the force, the driving force times the velocity. The, the driving force times the velocity. Okay, so we can work out what the driving force is because we know at the instant that we're trying to find the acceleration, the speed is 25 meters per second. So we can say the driving force is equal to the power, which is 75,000 divided by 25. So that's going to give us the value of D. So we have 75,000 divided by 25. That gives us 3,000 newtons. So that's the driving force, 3,000 newtons. So now we can say that the resultant force, the resultant force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And what we have to find is the acceleration. So the resultant force is basically, if we take this as positive, you can say the resultant force is going to be 3,000, which is the driving force, minus the resistance force, which is 2,400. And that's equal to the mass. Now, what's the mass of the lorry? 16,000 times the acceleration. That's the resultant force equals the mass times the acceleration. So 3,000 minus 2,400 is going to be uh, 600. Divide that by 16,000, and you'll get the acceleration. So you have 600 divided by 16,000, and that gives us 3 over 80, which is 0 0.035, 0 0.0375 meters per second squared. Now I'm going to leave it as this, this figure here because it's an exact value. Okay, so th this, you, don't, you, you shouldn't write this as 0 0.03. In fact, that, that, that would be 3SF anyway. But if it carried on, for example, for like maybe one more, then you could leave it as an exact value. But this is fine. That that would be 3SF if you run it anyway. But you know, this is basically an exact value anyway. So 
0.0375 meters per second squared is the acceleration of the lorry at the instant when the speed is 25 meters per second. So there's the answer to part B, and I think that's the whole question. Yeah, so that's the question. Question number one completed from this February-March paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of work, energy, and power in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And if you click on the uh, link here, it will take you to the video, which explains how to use my channel and find what you're looking for efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.